stuff like that yeah, i had it i it came in a deal for like five dollars uh my dad always wanted me to read rich dad poor dad and somebody when i was locked up they they had it and i started reading it, but it was right before i was coming home so i didn't get to read the whole thing i read like the first chapter um and like i got these three books in this deal five dollar deal like one was the um it was something I don't remember. It was uh, so the smart investor. It was rich that poor that it was real rich something. But I'm reading this book and like I'm saying, like I, like I said, I don't think I'm a special person or a special mind or nothing like that. And the book too, that like you know, and even with the uh, therapy books, like you know, even though some people will say it's common sense, like I don't know, and some people will say it's trivial. Because like some of the interventions that excuse me, are so practical, but I, I can test I test that they work. Now, like for me, I know a lot of people that would go through what I go through and never figure out the games that were being played, or uh, they would just give up. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I really can't. Um, I can't blame people, you know, that's just what it is. Even the folks say that. But, like, I know I'm ambitious, I know I can be stubborn, and I know I know that um, I can be just as relentless as whatever's pursuing me. That's why I feel like I've succeeded this uh, long, even in this flounder year. It's not to brag, it's just like, you know. That's basically what the book is saying. And like, I only read the first two chapters. But, like, you know, I was already on some brainstorm type stuff. Because it's like, I got ideas of what to do as far as the situation I'm in. But, like, yeah, I mean, that's, that's usually secondary. You get what I'm saying? Like, I thought, like, you know, pursuing certain things would help eliminate this weird stuff. But, you know, like I said, uh, it's really secondary, like you and, and it's funny because basically that's what the book says, I think money. And like, no, I don't feel like money's the biggest thing in life, but stability helps your mental health, it helps your dreams, goals, and aspirations, it helps different things, like being able to do more with more or even less at times, like right now, like I mean, even in the book. Even I was watching a commercial or something, and the chick was saying that, like, or I was online on social media, an entrepreneurial, uh, entrepreneurial seminar site, and a lot of people have said, like, they went broke for so many things, but when they had that break for one moment, it was like it was going popping, and it was like, I mean, the ball started rolling and never stopped, and like, like they said, like, rolling stone broke in the walls, like, just trying to kind of so basically it's talk about what to talk about like the mindset having that never quit taking failure and it's funny because like i was just on here talk about the smart here and talk about naysayers and haters and stuff like that and to the average person and like even the book says that like to the average person like no 
most things are impossible. And I, I'm not too sick. It's just like, you know, I got that. Impossible takes a day, impossible takes a day. And like I said, a lot of stuff that I face is probably meant to break my back. But at times, I feel like the follow help is John with the way of the world. And I, feel like, you know, I used to joke with myself, and I used to, I'm going hips with somebody. I'm doing my back. I'm doing push ups with you standing on my back. But you know what I mean? At no point do I give up. I might regroup. I might change directions. I might try to adopt a new strategy, adapt the strategy I already have. You know, that schemas, communication, assimilation, whatever it is, like, you know, try to learn new things. If it don't work, throw it out and start all over. Um, Acquire new knowledge, to existing knowledge, whatever. Learn new things. Um, but like I'm saying, at no point do I be on some like there'll be low points, but even my low point, and that's just the the energy that I have. Even at low points, it ain't like too low. And like I'm saying, I know a lot of people be expecting me to flip out, and you could almost. Set the watch or fight that one. Um, then, then I'm gonna do something dumb. Like, at this point in time, like, I've been through the dumb stuff, I, I've suffered those consequences. Like, I, I'm not trying to go backwards and always forward. And, like, I'm just saying, like, the book, like I said, it's about business and thinking and positive thinking and thinking for success, thinking for money. Like I said, I do a lot of stuff that isn't driven by money. So for all those, the money is the root of all evil and all. Like, you know, so I don't but, you know, like I'm just, get some stuff is secondary and trying to get that, achieve that uh, financial stability again and be able to drop whatever on whatever. And like I said, that's not a, that's not an arrogant thing. That's not a I'm better than you thing. That's a financial security. I got breathing room to do whatever. If I want to get something for my daughter, I don't got a girlfriend or whatever. If I want to do different entrepreneurial goals, like a lot of times I hear people say, like, you got to uh, pick one thing and really run with it. And that was my plan. That was my plan. And I hear a lot of people say that. So don't kick the shoe to your feet. Like, I know they say if the shoe fits wherever, but don't fit every shoe to your feet. Like, it's, like don't be honest, I'm angry you talk about me because I'm not, I'm right now, like, I've heard it for years. And that's all cool. And I've heard that take one day at a time uh, stuff, and that's all cool, but that ain't how my mind worked. My mind worked and plan plot strategize and coming up with different action steps to accomplish my goals. And like I've said in the past, like it's crazy that I got planned to get around certain situations as part of my plans. Like I, I can understand planning for a rainy day. I can understand planning for uh, God given obstacles, but like I mean, we can plan it for weird, weird people. It's weird, but like I said, I'm not really trying to focus on that. It's just like I said, I'm only two chapters in, and it's a good book. And it's crazy because it do mirror the way I think, but it's not totally crazy to me because, like I said, when I hear these bosses, millionaires, and, and I'm by no means a millionaire, or like I mean, I'm trying to establish different things. And like I said, in a different post, like, you know, the talent come from my dad's side of the family, the business come from my mom. Like, every member on my dad's side, basically, basically every member, I can say every member got some form of talent, whether it's taking pictures or drawing or singing or rapping or performing comedy, whatever. Like, and then, like, every member of my mom's family, they get at that block. Like, they, they, business trip. Whatever level of success, whatever level of desire they are, they business driven. Like, and one way or another, and I'm not trying to encourage people to hate or do whatever they do, but that's just where the two sides of brain converge here in this 
So, and at times it's like I'll be trying to get a full move. And at times, like I said, I feel like a helium balloon tied down. I feel like a hot air balloon is tied down. Or a big dog with a leash on it. But, I, like I said, I understand that. I uh, plan one thing and stick to that one thing, learn one thing, and stick to that one thing. Even when I started school, uh, somebody told me to find the modality in the field that works for me and stick with that. And I'm cool with that, but at the same time, like, what I found is, and I say this in the interviews, what I found is, like, even if you plan for one modality, sometimes the integrated approach is good, and sometimes knowing and sometimes it's knowing approaches that have nothing to do with uh, the approach that you plan on taking is good because, like, if somebody come in, this is therapy. If somebody come in with death in the family, if somebody come in with a domestic situation, if somebody come in with a sick kid and they the week before we're dealing with something completely different, that might derail the planned session or whatever. So being adaptable, being able to adopt different things is like just added knowledge. Like I'd be saying, like if you had a carpenter come out and you want to get your whole house redone you want to get somebody that first of all knows what they're doing and their stuff ain't going to be leaning to the side they know they 90 degree angles and 45 degree angles and 70 degree angles and all that you don't want some and you want somebody that not only knows that you want somebody that knows how to put the trim and finish on and all that <clears throat> and do different things and i'm not against amateurs because in certain aspects i know what i'm doing with certain stuff but i'm still an amateur in that realm but like i'm saying like you i forget what i'm saying but all i'm saying is like the more you know the more i can help so that'd be my attitude going into certain learning situations it's like all right let me absorb everything so even when the unexpected comes up i might do a stutter step, but at the end of the day, I could crush this obstacle or whatever. So, like I said, I'm, I'm just reading this book, and like I said, a lot of money makers or whatever, not that I'm a money maker just yet, but like, you know, I'm never going to stop fighting uh, to get to my goals. And it's like, God oh, man, everything, the way my mind thinks, I hear in people's interviews, whether it's Dr. Phil, Oprah, or like I said, uh, Bill Gates, uh, Warren Buffett, Jay Z, Puffy, whatever. And I'm already thinking this. This is the way my mind works and it's coming out of their mouth. And I'm not saying, like, I'm one of those, like I keep saying, I'm not saying that I don't know if I'll ever be, but I know that I'm never going to stop fighting. Like, if I die before I reach a major goal or financial success, I know financial stability. I know that for me, like, I left everything on that climb of the mountain. Like, I didn't just give up. I didn't. Ain't no regrets here. Like, the only regret I would have is giving up on the fight. Like, regrouping or changing directions don't upset me. But if I gave up on something, I would probably, because then you're going to have those. And that's a part of psychology, too. I forget if it's Edmund or Ed, Edward Edmonds, or I forget what, I forgot, I don't know, I, I heard it, but I come out in different ways, those stages of life, and you don't want to have it, and even beyond the uh, uh, stagnation versus regenerativity or generativity, whatever it is, that later stage when you, like, reach in later life, senior, and, uh, Close to, I guess, death stages, you don't want to be like, you left life on the table. You might be upset about some things, some goals, some things that you never tried, never did, but you don't want to feel like you left life on the table. And even leaving some stuff for some people might be disappointing, but like for me, like if I die tomorrow of an aneurysm, heart attack, whatever God forbid, I hope I don't. But you know, even before 20, I did a lot of. Fun stuff that like I see people dream of. So in the second childhood, it's like I'm fighting for my goals and like 
what do you want to do? We'll be there. And I'm at the store now. I just got a call. I called him back. I'm not going to the store. I'm going to see where it is. All right, we back. I'm, I'm getting my smoke on. Uh, I apologize, but you know, uh, I'm coming back because, like, I think I went to the gram uh, last night, or I might not have went to the gram at all until earlier today. But I was reading this book. It's a business book. It's a smart investor book. Like, I got three. It was a three package. It was a three book package deal. One and like, you know, I ain't. I ain't up on everything. Like I'm staying afloat right now, but like I've been pretty much financially stable over the years. This last year with the stop and go, and we're trying to get these businesses off the ground. Uh, like you know, we we go and then we start acquiring assets and stuff to help the business. That's what assets are for. Um, got assets and liabilities, and in the the stand still happens, but uh, reading these business books because, like, I was just listening. I, I'll be on uh, or YouTube all day, and I don't remember how, but that uh, Fifty Cent book uh, popped up, and I started listening to that, and I liked a lot of what he was saying. A lot of what he was saying mirrored like the way I think, even though I'm not successful, is nowhere near as successful as. Uh, 50 cent and like i'll be saying like a lot of times when i'm listening to people successful people not just entertainers but like the warren buffett's the steve jobs and all that it's like yeah i mean my thinking mirrors that but i'm not at that level like i'm fighting for that level but i'm not at that level so it was a three package deal i got uh rich dad poor dad because i was looking when I was locked up, my dad, Rich Dad Poor Dad was in the house like throughout my life. And my dad was like, I should really read that. And I was like, all right, because I didn't know what it was about. He kind of told me when I was in jail, but uh, somebody in the jail had it. I started to read it. I got through like the first chapter, but I was, it was close to my release date, so I ain't even finished it. But uh, I, there was a three package deal. I was looking for Rich Dad Poor Dad. And the smart investor, and this grow richer grow smarter or something like that was in the deal and it was a good deal for like five dollars for all three books and um i was looking i was trying to listen to the jay-z audio book but i ain't find the jay-z audio book like i don't know if leor cohen wrote a book but i ain't find the book i was looking i read uh the russell simmons john a long time ago like when i was in jail that was probably like I mean the short stage on, but I read that. Um and luckily I got acquitted of the charges for the most part. I cut out the a couple of misdemeanors, but you know what I mean. So that was like I don't, I don't wanna say it was a blessing in that situation. <clears throat> but I read the uh Russell Simmons book. Like I said, I read the dry rule book, but that wasn't really a business book or a I mean, type deal. That was just a, a biography, John. Now, uh, I was trying to write, I, I get the decoded and find something about Dame Dash, Leo, or something like that. Uh, and I was looking for them. And then I just was like, all right, well, let me see if they got any good business audio books. And I put in the top seller audio books and the top seller books came up, business books. And one of the business books was the Grow Richer, Grow Smarter or something, however, whatever the title is. And I was like, I got that upstairs. And like, you know, sometimes when I'm just sitting doing nothing or doing a project, I'll either put the music on or like I said, I was listening to that 50 Cent book because I was probably doing a project or something. <coughs> My bad. I don't know where I was in that soliloquy. Uh, but I was in this package deal. I got the rich dad, poor dad, and like I started reading it. And but I was looking for different things, and I stumbled up. And I, while I was looking for like the Jay Z book or whatever, I saw I went to the bestseller list, and I saw one of the books I had, and I went and and 
when I went in, I was like, all right, well, I might as well read this. So then I started reading it last night. I only got two chapters in, but like I said, a lot of what's being said is my mindset, how I think, and how I attack goals and how I attack life. You get what I'm saying? And even some of the other YouTubers that I'll be watching, like the grown folk YouTubers, uh, they're not like, I don't think they set out to be motivational speakers. I know I didn't. I never thought I would be where I'm at today. And like I said, when it comes to today, um, the whole thing is like, I don't know, like pressure bus pipes, but it also can form a diamond. Like I ain't come up with that saying, but like, it seemed like the more I go through as far as opposition, the more I uh, experience and again, opposition, and pushback it's like it just makes my voice louder and louder like it was never the plan like people like i've said in other posts like people know me for like 30 years and never heard me talk like that but throughout this uh time like i said promoting the uh the bare canvas and like i said i, I never planned on being on ig all crazy like i've been like it started out just like all right let me let people show, let me show people things is real, like real and tangible and concrete and you can, like, I mean, reach out and touch it, like not on IG, but you get what I'm saying. So I wanted to make sure that people knew, like, this ain't no wolf ticket, because I'm not just selling a bag of goods. Like, I got a lot of the stuff I, I got a lot of what I need and I'm building basically inventory and extra stuff, extra add-ons that I want featured at the studio whenever it does open. Hopefully it will open. So basically we back like, for a third time. Basically, um, I was putting stuff together for this uh, tattoo studio. And like I said, I, I already had acquired a lot of what I needed and I'm putting together the stuff that I want featured at this studio. And when I'm reading this book, it's like, you know, like I said, it matches my mindset, even though I'm not successful. Like I know I have that never quit, never give up attitude. <laughs> and I know that's basically for the first uh, two chapters, the tenant is like, you know, think success, think money, think positive and think things into fruition. And it's like, um, even even in the rap music, like, you know, some people might look at rap music as a negative, but when I hear different things, I rock with it. Like, you know, when uh, the baby, little baby say, yeah, I'm forever screaming. I woke up, thought I was dreaming. Like, you know, when I hear Tupac say, plan, plot, strategize, it's like, yeah, I mean, that's what my mind is always doing. Like, I woke up, not today, but yesterday, and or maybe over the weekend and it was like even today like i was saying in a different post like when i was doing the smart here it was like i completed that and like i'm on go mode like i want to do other projects and keep the ball rolling like i'm saying i, I wanted to do certain things within certain fields and still do but like you know with the stop and go but now i'm like all right well maybe we skip the field and try to do this entrepreneurial thing, even though I've been trying to do this entrepreneurial thing, but like, I always, I worked for the field. Like, and when I say that, that was my goal. I went after that, I attacked it. I was tenacious, I was uh, relentless, and I got around different obstacles. So I'm here now and it's been stopping though. I haven't had a full-time job that last. Um, I'm trying to build the network not an uh, anti tyreek network, but like a network. I said that in a different post, like a team of people that's going to help these, these goals become a reality. You get what I'm saying? But, you know, it is what it is. And like I'm saying, it was just like, I'm trying to do different things. And, you know, nothing happens over at night. I don't ever expect to be like Bill Gates or nothing like that, but I do plan to succeed and do what I got to do to get 
maximize what I want to do out of life. And like I'm saying, like some stuff just excite me. I want to do it. Some stuff I think it will be lucrative. Some things I think will be beneficial to the community. Other things I just think I can get better at. Some things I've mastered that I think I'm good at. And like I said in a different video, like a lot of the stuff on the IG and then on YouTube are first attempts for some of the stuff. Like I could always draw, but whether it's uh, doing tattoos on a melon or whatever, or the animation, whatever, it's like, yeah, I mean, and it, that's another funny thing. Like I just put that post out and I'll be talking about God engineering. Like I was looking for Jay-Z decoded audio book so I could just lay, watch the basketball game and do whatever. Then I was looking for Ray Kwan's book and stuff such and such such and such and then i came to this uh think rich think smarter or whatever and it's basically mirroring what i said in that post about the uh about the smart mirror and the attitude the tenacity the resilience and all that and you know i just be wanting to accomplish goals like I, i'm not out to be better than the next man i'm not out to squash the competition i'm out to accomplish my personal goals like i don't think that's a selfish thing that i don't think about some things certain aspects in my planning certain things in my planning and in my goals like i plan for obstacles i plan to get around obstacles but i don't plan on destroying competition or even view you as competition you where you at uh that's that market research doing your yeah, competition, how many competi competitors are in a certain area? What's the demographic? What's going to make this? Is this a service that this demographic wants? Is this a service that this demographic needs? Like they say, uh, first supply and demand. Like if there's a demand and no supply, then bam, boom, bam. Location, location, location. You don't want to put like a farm in the middle of a grocery store or something like that where you can get like i don't know i'm, I'm just freestyling so i don't know like when i read the book and like i said i'm gonna go in here eventually and continue reading the book but for now like i, I don't know what project i'm gonna work on right now when i go in the house but i'm gonna do something whatever whatever i want that's gonna help me further my goals like you know there's simpleton stuff that i could do right now but I'm not going to do the simpleton stuff. If I got to do simpleton stuff, that'll come when I feel like coming. Like sometimes, like, I mean, and like I said, but some of the stuff that I go through, some people might be fe defeated, crushed, whatever. And that's what the book was saying. And sometimes I could get frustrated and want to go do some simpleton stuff. And like that's still in, that's still in like play, but it's like, yeah, you know I mean, I, I got bigger stuff I'm trying to accomplish. Like, even when I'll be on the simpleton stuff, even when I'll be mad at somebody, a lot of times when I'll be mad at somebody, I could go to sleep and then get back up. Whether it's two hours later, a half hour later, nine hours later, like, it's like, you're not even on my mind anymore. It's weird, like, even if I get frustrated or upset and I go to sleep, which is hardly ever, when I get up, like, it's very rarely, I take that whatever would bother me into the next day. It's like, I just jump out of bed joking and, I'll be in the house by myself, having a good time. Like, if you ever watch Ridiculousness, like, that's like my sense of humor, Sterling and um, Rob. And I just jump out of bed, like, even one day is like I was low energy, upset, frustrated, whatever. And that's just how I be. Like, that rejuvenation usually hit. Like, every, every once in a while where I'll be sluggish or something like that. But, you know what I mean? It's like that. But, like, when it comes to the, the fuckery or whatever, the uh, simpleton stuff, it's like, you know what I mean? even when I want to be mad at somebody or I think I want to be mad at somebody, it's like, you're not even on my mind. Like, I, I'm trying to accomplish different things. Like, you're not even on my mind. Like, and for me, it's like, I'm not a real big beef dude. And it's not because I'm scared of you. It's like, yeah, I mean, we either cool and I give you the world if I can, whatever I can. That don't mean if I got $50, I'm going to give you $2. So don't expect that. But if I can, and I'm, and like I say, I can see through cons. I used to be doing that simpleton stuff, and I, I don't care how you take it. Um, because some people take it personally, and I'm like, yo, you know, the one. But uh, 
if you can't be focused on that, like I say, we either cool or you don't exist. And usually, if what that means, it's not a disrespectful thing to me. It's like I'm focused on whatever I'm focused on. Like sometimes it's not a we don't like each other. It's usually not we don't like each other because uh, you don't exist. Like if you hate me, we don't interact. And if I know you don't like me, I, we interact with only when we have to. And other than that, I'm gonna say I'll away because I don't care about you or care about like your anger because your anger. So like I was saying, like, I don't even feed into a lot of simpleton stuff. It's like, if you don't like me, it's like, okay. Most of the time, like I said, I won't even notice because I don't even know why you like you don't like me because it's not like I do anything to you because I don't care. And like and like I said, I got to put these disclaimers out there. It's not like I'm on no ignorant stuff. It's like I'm just not thinking of whatever made you mad. I don't even know what made you mad. If it's my face, it's my face. If it's I mean, quiet and... I don't know. I don't know what made you not like me. You don't know me to not like me. No needs to love me. You ain't got right there, though. That's big. Um, like, I, I play a lot, but when I say simpleton stuff, I'm talking about haters and stuff. I get the hate out your throat. And like I say, like, yo, if you mad at me, like I said, most of the time, I won't even know. Like I said, like I say, like, sometimes, like, we just don't talk, and that's not a beef thing. Sometimes it's just uh, you, uh, my playful playfulness don't appeal to you. Like some people think it's a pretty people, ugly people thing. Like I don't even look at it like that. Like I know plenty of plenty. I know plenty of pretty drawings that you look good as hell, and it's like we just never talk. And if we do talk, it's like once, twice, three times in a year. And like I still don't see that as a disrespectful thing. Some people do. We kind of borderline. Um. But I don't see it as a disrespectful thing because you don't talk to me. You don't go out your way to talk to me and I don't be beefing them over that. We just never really interacted like that. And like we can sit next to each other for seven years and never and only have a conversation once a year. I don't feel slighted about that. I don't feel like you're giving me a cold shoulder. I feel like if I got something to say, I'm excited. If you got something to say, we're going to start a conversation. And other people, we talk all the time. Sometimes, this is when I was working. I don't know where they got my friends outside of work, but they say if you're ambitious, you're going to be alone a lot. So, like, and I don't think that is, like, I don't be mad at me for that because I know who I am. I know, like, I'm a great person. Like, if you won't fuck with me, like, like I said, it's not because you know me. It's because you don't know me. And it's just not because you took the time to get to know me because you didn't take the time to get to know me. You just got an opinion about me. And I don't really care about your opinion at all. I don't care. So it's like, you know what I mean? When, if you don't know me, you don't know me. If somebody's telling you stuff about me, that's, you listen. I'm like, okay. Like, anybody that know me for a long time, like, when you meet somebody I introduce you to, I always tell you, like, go get to know them. Don't go by the crowd's opinion. Because, like, a lot of times, like, people have dickhead traits. Excuse my language. Like, whether you just a gossip dude, or you just a hater, or you play too much and people don't like whatever it is, or you're a stickler or whatever it is. Like me, it's like, I see you for who you are. I see those traits, but if I deal with you, if I, if I fuck with you, it's like, you know, you got a rider for life, no F boy stuff. And like, yeah, I mean, like I said, I don't fuck with too many people. People don't fuck with me. And it's like, that's cool because I know how I am. If I'm in a relationship with you, I know how I am. So it's like, if we not in a relationship or a relationship then like I might still have I don't know because I don't think I got feelings for a person but not you know it's different at different times but at the same time like I feel like my relationships were good but they just didn't work out so it's not like I'm beefing with anybody but like I said it's not never to slight nobody it's just like that weird like I don't feel like that's weird because like <sighs> You should be focused on what you focus on. Focus on building. Focus on goals. Focus on whatever. Like you just sitting there with a mean mug on your face, and like I don't even notice that. Like if we don't interact, we just don't interact. Maybe you're not talking to me. I'm not talking to me. Maybe we don't talk about the same things. Maybe the, the mindset don't mat mesh. And that's why when I was in that video, and this goes with girls, guys. Like, not to don't be on that f-boy stuff. Like when you gotta compatible mindset you build like you know what i mean and some people just don't be on the same type of time like maybe you like shopping and i like making money now that's cool for me because like yeah you know i mean as ambitious as i am like one hopefully you got your own money 
too, like, I mean, I don't judge you for whatever you do. Like, if I can't afford it and we in a relationship, I can't afford it. Like, yeah, I mean, but if I can afford it and as much as I want to work and all the entrepreneurial goals I have, like I said, when I said in a different video, like, I've been trying to drop whatever on whatever. It's not like an arrogance thing. It's like that financial stability, not only having money for bills, but having money for bills and breathing room. And like, I, like I said, I can be calculated, calculatingly impulsive and like I, I weigh the pros and the cons I weigh options out and then I might act on something if there's wiggle room and a little bit of wiggle room but I think it's a good investment out like the uh investment I just made in these uh promotions like it costs a little bit more than I expected but like I'm saying like if one thing pop off like that's good for good not for good but that's good so <clears throat> Like when I'm focused on the hustle, whatever you want to say, it's like, and even though like I'm saying, I'm grinding, I'm grinding, I'm grinding. And at times, even during the uh, school stuff, it was like, I, I don't, I feel like I'm not seeing no results, but like, you know, it, it is what it is. And like, you get through that. And, but like I'm saying, you, sometimes you got to change directions. Sometimes you got to change targets. Sometimes you got to do different things. You, you Sometimes you don't abandon the original plan, but sometimes you, uh try to do different things i'll explain that in a different video just to be able to go back to that original plan now sometimes you just scrap the plan all together and throw it out the window now like i said this book is thinking like i think so a lot of times in this book it's saying like fight that out fight that out when you about to give up and you feel like your back is about to break fight through that and that's how i felt with the school thing i felt like i crossed that finish line on my lips like moving across the but I, I accomplished that goal and as much as I felt like it was a fight throughout the whole thing and various obstacles throughout the whole thing I felt like you know what I mean I accomplished that goal now right now for the last year plus I ain't been working in the field consistently and I haven't had a full-time job since I last my left my last full-time job that lasted more than two weeks but like you know what I mean I'd be on some bullshit but I ain't even going to address that. I'm just saying, like, I just be on go mode. I'll be on goals, go mode. Like, I mean, I thought, again, that this was going to be a good opportunity. And I had ideas that I was going to present in that situation later on in the situation. But, like, that didn't work out. And that wasn't the wheelhouse, but it was in the same lane, I guess you would say but it just didn't work out so um and that's a part of my goals anyway but it didn't work out like i felt like you know if this works out two years a year from now while they were building while they were establishing different things maybe they would be interested in different ideas and that's how and even i was at a like a on the spot interview uh, a couple of weeks ago before i started over there and it was like i had different ideas and i've reached out to people i've reached out to council people city council county council i've reached out to state reps i've reached out to different committees and different project people and you know i'm just not going to stop um that's not who i am that's not in my dna that's not in my brain that's not in my blood it's like yeah you know i mean like i'm somebody who's going to fight for what they want and that's basically what the book says and as many people i know look against me and as many people feel like oh he's isolated he's just by himself it'll be easy to 